this is Jason, a.k.a. J-Bone of the Rambling About Wrestling Podcast, right here to bring you my thoughts on um, SmackDown's getting a whole new uh, feeling coming this new year, 2016. They're joining the USA Network, and it sounds like uh, it's going to be a whole new program, uh, including the new voice of SmackDown, Mauro Ranallo. And uh, this video is going to be giving my thoughts on his addition to the new, I'm calling a new revamped SmackDown brand. Honestly, I think this is really what this brand needs because you talk to any casual or even diehard wrestling fan nowadays, they really don't care about SmackDown much. I mean, just look at the you know, you just look at the ratings it gets. Um, it's not even close to what Raw gets. Well, I shouldn't say that, because Raw, excuse me, Raw's ratings haven't been that great. But I think they're going to get better now that uh, you got some new champs and some new rivalries growing. But um, but before I continue with this, let me give you a little um, little clip here on uh, from the horse's mouth himself talking about his passion for what he does. I'm a play-by-play -play announcer, first and foremost. That's the most experience I have. Uh, it is an opportunity for me to show my versatility and, and to, you know, take on something that isn't innate or something automatic. I mean, I've always wanted to challenge myself since I was young, and, and there, you know, people may not understand or, or even realize this, but I've done every sport imaginable, including curling, in really? which I was booed out of the building. I'd watched curling, you know, uh, very uh, as a cursory thing, and I did some research made sure I knew what the hog line was and, and certain things, but I learned a valuable lesson that day. Don't try to pretend you know something if you don't. And, and ever since then, and again, this is a very young age, preparation has been, been my key. I mean, uh, people don't necessarily have to like my style or, or whatnot, but they cannot question my preparation and, and you know, the knowledge that I bring. I'm, I eat, live, and breathe uh, my work, whether it is mixed martial arts, whether it's professional wrestling, whether it's boxing, whether it's pop culture, I'm an information junkie, and uh, and if I wasn't being paid for it, I'd still I'd still be doing it. So that's that's the the nature for me is the fact that it's it's a challenge, but one that I I, I seriously enjoy. Do I get excited? Do I get uh, crazy, over dramatic? Sure, but that's me. You know that's me. I'm I'm the bipolar rock and roller. <laughs> It's, it's, it's a shoot. I'm not trying to, to, to add anything or take away from the fighters. The, the first thing for me is I am the soundtrack to the fight. I just want to make sure that that moment for that athlete, 10 years from now, 5 years from now, that when his grandchildren or kids are watching, ah, oh, Dad, that's, that gives me goosebumps. That's the biggest compliment I get is from fighters who say when they hear my calls, they get, they get goosebumps, you know, because of the excitement. So yeah, that's from Morrow himself on, you know, just real brief on, you know, who he is and how passionate he is about what he does, no matter where he's doing it. Uh, 2016 is going to be pretty busy for him. He's got quite the, uh, excuse me, uh, quite the load of stuff on his plate. He's not only going to be working for SmackDown, as the new voice of SmackDown. He's going to be doing play-by-play uh, uh, -play for a fighting company called Glory. I don't think it's as well-known. I mean, I don't follow a lot of MMA. Uh, you know, I, UFC is the, the king as far as that goes, as far as much as, much as I know about it. Uh, but there's another company called Glory Fighting or something to that effect. Um he's going to be doing or has been doing play by play for them and also working with uh Showtime boxing and uh, and I don't watch boxing I haven't been a fan of boxing since the Tyson years honestly <laughs> but um if you want to know something current as far as professional wrestling that he's attached to what got him part of what got him the job in WWE I recently have been watching 
uh, New Japan Pro Wrestling on uh, Axis TV on cable. Basically what they're doing is they're taking stuff from approximately a year ago in New Japan Pro Wrestling and throwing American, bringing it to the American audience. Guys, uh, Josh Barnett and Mario Ronaldo are doing play-by-play -play commentating for New Japan Pro Wrestling. And even though the stuff is almost a year old as far as when it took place, it's throwing a whole new fresh look at it from, you know, an American audience point of view. And I've been watching it recently, especially when it started showing uh, episodes from uh, Wrestle, Wrestle Kingdom 9. And if you follow my channel, or have been following my channel over the course of the last year, you'll know I did some talking about Wrestle Kingdom 9 from New Japan Pro Wrestling because it was brought to the American audience through Global Force Wrestling. That had Matt Stryker and Jim Ross on the American end of the pay-per-view. But this, them re-showing this Wrestle Kingdom 9 and you know everything prior and post that now has the voices of Josh Barnett and Mauro Ronaldo doing play-by-play. -play. So I started paying more attention to the Wrestle Kingdom 9 episodes. Basically they took this gigantic pay-per-view which was like four hours long or whatever it was, split it up to hour-long episodes, like two matches per episode because it's an hour long. And with these new commentators, especially uh, Ronaldo, it really adds a new dimension to it. Um, in my personal opinion, I highly recommend you finding Wrestle Kingdom 9 on Axis Television, or the New Japan Pro Wrestling Show on Axis Television. They're doing on New Year's Day giving you guys a free plug here <laughs> on New Year's Day they're doing uh, five hours of uh, you know hour long episodes back to back of the entire Wrestle Kingdom 9 event which I'm psyched for because I loved it when um, when I watched it live with some friends now and even though they already had it on TV uh, not that long ago, I only watched like parts of it. I watched the matches like uh, the Nakamura match, the Okada match, you know, a couple here and there that really stood out for me. The whole event was incredible, don't get me wrong. But now that I'm paying more attention to it because of who's announcing it, finding out how good this guy really is, that's going to be another factor of me really, you know, watching this again and educating myself on who this guy really is that's doing the play-by-play. -play. So that really piques my interest and I'm, I'm letting you know you should do it as a wrestling fan as well if you want to know how good this guy really is. So the Bipolar Rock and Roller was announced within this last week um, on WWE.com. Also Oh, excuse me, Sports Illustrated um, broke the news as well. And some other, yeah, I, I did a, a little bit of research, went through some posts on Facebook and some people talking about um, him coming to SmackDown. Uh, a couple guys here, uh, Smith Hart from the Hart family, said, I'd like to send out a heartfelt, heartfelt congratulations to 
uh, Stampede alumni and honorary Hart family member, Mauro Ronaldo, on finally signing with the WWE. I have long said that Mauro is by far the best broadcaster in all combat sports. If Mauro is allowed to be Mauro, he will no doubt replace Michael Cole in a matter of months. That's a pretty big statement right there. Um, you know, Raw is live and SmackDown is taped. Um, I'm hearing some opinions, and I'm not going to quote any of them. This is just a generic um, kind of sum up of some of the other opinions I saw before I get into reading a few more of these. A lot of people are saying they think that the WWE is going to censor or take away from Ronaldo's um, way of announcing because he is the bipolar rock and roller. He is a little more over the top, or uh, you know, sometimes overly passionate. Honestly, I think that's what something like SmackDown needs. Now, what team is currently on there is Rich Brennan, Booker T, and is it Byron Saxton? It <laughs> shows how much I watch SmackDown. No, I watch about every other week, honestly. Uh, but I had to remind myself because they've, you know, they've changed it a little here and there over the last, you know, year or so. Um, Rich Brennan is basically Michael Cole Jr in my opinion. Um, he's good, but uh, he's very, he's, he's tight, <laughs> like a diamond up your ass tight, um, <laughs> making coal, uh, hence the coal junior. Um, <laughs> um, no, he's, considering from what he's been doing on NXT, along with Corey Graves, um, he's, he's, he's okay. He's okay. I'm not going to say he's great, but he's got a He's got a good future as far as, you know, professionalism and whatever. Um, what the complete team is going to be once Morrow is on there uh, is going to be really interesting. Basically, he's going to be like the head voice. Um, I thought I read somewhere that he's going to be starting SmackDown alongside Michael Cole and then given some free reign in the future. If that's true or not, I don't know. Um, he was brought into the WWE by Michael Cole along with others getting disapproval because uh, apparently Michael Cole is the, the say on who does the commentating some people think he's garbage, some people think he's alright, I think he's gotten better over the years but uh, yeah, like I said on recent podcasts, you know, me and the boys I honestly thought that uh, some of the commentating and play by play especially in this last pay-per-view, was painful. Sincerely painful. The stuff between you know, Michael Cole and uh, uh, JBL. Uh, Stinksville. Um, it's, it's, it's just some of the stupid arguing that goes on back and forth is just hard to listen to. You know, it makes you want to hit mute and just watch the wrestling. Uh, some other opinions here. Uh, Boss Rutan who used to call play-by-play uh, -play with Ronaldo in uh, Pride uh, fighting uh, another defunct MMA program. Uh, congratulations to my buddy Mauro Ronaldo. This is huge. I told the people at Access TV when they got him to do pro wrestling announcing for them that the WWE would hire him after they heard what he can do, and I was correct that's very interesting um, so obviously yeah they were paying attention to what he was doing you know or somebody was uh, when he started this which is just another thing to back up what I was saying go check out the Axis TV show New Japan Pro Wrestling you know especially the Wrestle Kingdom 9 uh, event that's coming up the, on uh, New Year's Day go check it out if you have a the time or the access to it, DVR it, whatever, watch it whenever. If you want to know a week from then 
what SmackDown could possibly be as good as. And last but not least, uh, Jim Ross, good old JR, uh, on WWE signing Mauro Ranallo, uh, Ranallo, excuse me. He says, congrats to my pal Mauro, Mauro Ranallo. Oh, it's, it's, just a, it's a different name. I'm trying not to butcher it, so I apologize. For, <laughs> for nabbing the lead SmackDown broadcaster role beginning in January when SmackDown moves to the USA Network. Mauro is a great broadcaster who will immediately enhance the sound of SmackDown and make uh, for it more unique for a more unique audio especially if he's paired with Jerry Lawler and Booker T. Excellent hire by WWE and I wish my friend a wonderful run in WWE. I couldn't be happier for all involved. Um, so he seems to think that he's going to be the centerpiece between Lawler and Booker T. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, but if they're giving it a whole new uh, format, whatever, uh, and from what it sounds like, they really are. Um, from uh, Ronaldo himself in a uh, an interview from this past week, he said basically they're going to take what they're doing between Raw and and NXT and make a hybrid of the two. Um, and that sounds good to me because, I mean, Raw is... The format is okay, but NXT, in my opinion, is very good because the rivalries are there. There's not a lot of filler. Uh, it's focused more on wrestling, which is what WWE should do. So hopefully they'll get it right with SmackDown. And with the addition to this, um, we'll make for a better program than what it is now. Uh, so, and a little history on Ronaldo himself. Uh, he started at the age of 16 for Vancouver's All-Star Wrestling. In 99 and 2000, Ronaldo was connected with Stampede Wrestling. And in one of the pictures that I posted during that little audio clip, uh, he actually did play-by-play -play with uh, Bad News Brown, who unfortunately now is uh, passed away. But uh, just a little, throw a little name in there, you know, who he's been tied with. Like I said, he did uh, Pride Fighting, and uh, you know, he, several other things he's done too. You can go to his own website, check out audio clips of what he's done, and his other... Uh, achievements leading up to this so so yeah this has been very um, th this is gonna be very exciting for Smackdown I can't wait to see what they do with this I'm very curious uh, will it bring Smackdown back to what it was you know the popularity it had like 10 years ago when Heyman was running it which, in my opinion, was the golden era of SmackDown. Uh, we'll have to see. Um, I think I think he has the potential if they let him do what he does well, and they don't try to you know get in his ear too much which obviously all the guys are, you know, they, they're prodded to say this and that. Um, this is, I, I don't think there's a lot of gray here. He's either going to do really good or he's not going to last long at all. I obviously hope for uh, that he does really well because the little bit I've heard on the New Japan and in the interviews that I've watched today, and yesterday, doing a little research for this video, um, he's very good. He really is. And um, you know, being 45 years old in a career of about 30 years, doing what he's doing, um, this is this is the the top of the mountain. You know, honestly, between MMA, pro wrestling, and everything else he's done, this is. This is the ultimate right here. 
So, um, yeah, let me let me hear your thoughts in the comments below. Let me know what you think about this. I'm psyched for it. I think uh, this is exactly what SmackDown needs. Obviously, it's going to have a bigger audience on the USA Network, a new format, and now a new voice. So, congratulations to Mauro Ranallo on your new gig with SmackDown and WWE. And I uh, can't wait to see what's next. All right. Thanks for watching, guys.